Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kai Guy Slider, and I am sliding into your subscription boxes today with episode number 24, I think. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. Of our Pokemon Sapphire randomized Nuzlocke. Now, I apologize, you guys. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday, I was feeling very under the weather. I was not feeling well at all. I did not feel well enough to record whatsoever, so I decided not to, to give myself a little rest. And I apologize for that, but I'm feeling mostly, mostly better now. So as a result of that, and as a thank you for holding out and waiting for the videos, uh, I'm giving you the same thing I did last week where I missed the up on Wednesday. We're getting back to back Pokemon Sapphire Randomized Nuzlocke. So you guys will get one today, which is Thursday, and tomorrow, which is Friday. So back to back, two weeks in a row back to back Nuzlocke. So hopefully you guys are prepared for that. Off screen, I did do some grinding as well because we are going to be taking on our seventh gym today. Spoilers if you couldn't tell by looking at the screen right now. I did do some off-screen grinding, like I said. Uh, I got everyone up to about level 40. It was a pain in the butt. I went and trained at Mount Pyre. Uh, found some interesting stuff there. Some cool encounters that we kind of missed out on. But hey, you know what? Whatever, it's fine. That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But before we go ahead and get into this gym, I'm going to give you guys a quick little team recap going on right here. We got Big Bad Birth of the Gold Bat. Uh, with Inner Focus as its ability and a hasty nature. Holding the Sooth Belt because she needs a little bit of friendliness and happiness in her life. With the moves Fly, Arm Thrust, Air Cutter, and Bite. Next up, we have Tectonic the Ground on with the Drought ability and a lonely nature. Don't be lonely, buddy. Holding the Soft Sand up the power of his Ground type moves with the moves Earthquake, Bulk Up, Ancient Power, and Slash. Then we have Antonio, our starter, the Gardevoir, with the Trace ability and an Adamant nature, the worst nature for a Gardevoir. Holding the Scope Lens up his Critical Hit Ratio with the moves Calm On, Giga Drain, Psychic, and Feign Attack. Then we have Wrigley the Pup himself, the Grand Bull, with the Intimidate ability and a Hasty nature. Holding the Choice Band up the power of his physical moves with Revenge, Bite, Hyper Fang, and Rock Tomb. Next up, we have Franklin the Blast Toys with the Torrent ability and a Lax Nature. Holding Leftovers to give him a little bit of HP back at the end of every turn. With the moves Protect, Bite, Surf, and Morning Sun. And now, last but certainly not least, we have Dump Truck the Agron. That's right, Dump Truck the Laron evolved into Dump Truck the Agron off screen during the grinding with the Rock Head ability and the oh so sassy nature. Holding the scope lens up is critical hit ratio. I did take the black belt off him because it kind of was useless. He only had rock smash. So I thought scope lens up is critical hit ratio would be better. So that's why he's holding it. With moves Iron Tail, Metal Claw, Rock Smash, and Take Down. We're going to go ahead and get into this battle. I'm going to lead with Tectonic and Bertha because this is a double battle actually. Fun fact. At least I'm pretty sure it is. I could be wrong. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get battle on. Get our battle on. <laughs> were you surprised? <laughs> were you surprised that there were two... Gym leaders, that there are two gym leaders? We're twins, we're twins! We don't need to talk because we can determine what the other is thinking all in our minds! This combination of ours, can you beat it? That was really annoying to do as from a voice acting perspective. That was really, really annoying to do. Alright, uh, we're taking on Liza and Tate, hoping to earn our seventh gym badge, and they send out Pichu and Togetic, level 45! Wow, I only grinded up to level 40. I thought that'd be plenty of levels. Wow, we're still severely under level. I'm gonna go for the fly and the Togetic. I'm gonna earthquake to just get rid of this Pichu. Wow, I we got really lucky with the Pokemon that are on the opposite side of the field. Because if it was something stronger, we might be a little bit screwed here. That Pichu that Pichu is gonna drop, yeah. And now this fly should do a decent amount. I probably won't one shot. It might do like probably like a third, maybe even a half if we're lucky. Because Bertha's pretty powerful. Bertha's got a lot of power inside of her. You're going for wish? I wish I wish I was a fish indeed, Togetic. I wish indeed. If wishes were- I don't remember the saying. If wishes were something, I don't remember. Go ahead and ancient power this thing. This might just completely just one-shot you right here. Um, almost, thanks to the crit. Almost thanks to the crit. Let's go, Tectonic. That was the easiest gym battle we've had yet. <laughs> not by levels, not even close. We were down five levels to these guys, but that was the easiest gym battle we've had yet. We kind of just- it took two turns. What? What? Our combination was shattered? It can't be helped. You've won. So in recognition, take this. We got $9,000 too. That's kind of clean, dude. We got the Mind Badge from Liza and Tate. That is our seventh gym badge in the Hoenn region. One more to go, you guys. Just one more. The Mind Badge enhances special attack and special defensive Pokemon. It also lets you use the HM move Dive outside of battle. You should also take this too. Team 4 This is normally Calm Mind, but I'm not sure what it's going to be because as always, you guys, TMs and this Nuzlocke are randomized. That TM contains Calm Mind. It raises special attack and it raises special defense. It's a move that's perfect for Psychic Pokemon. I know, I have one with my Psychic Pokemon. Flatter, I don't really want that. That's good. Good to know that I don't really want that. Cool. 
So you can go ahead out and see what's going on outside over here. Oh, I thought there was about to be an event that happened, but I guess not. I seriously thought an event was about to happen, but apparently not. Welp, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Nope, I don't want to buy anything. I would like to sell my flatter TM that I just got that I will never ever use. 1500 that's some decent cash money. I will take that to the bank indeed. Alright, I'm going to keep Bertha out front because I want her to get some level in. But, unfortunately, I think I have to teach somebody dive. I think I have to teach somebody dive. So here's the thing, I could pull somebody out of the PC and just slap dive on them, but that's going to be a lot of work and then I'm going to have to re-level whoever I swap out for it. Um, do I want to just give it to Franklin? Or, hold on, I know I know I turned on HM usage to where anyone can learn dive. Is there anyone that benefits from learning dive? I mean, not really. Half of our team are special attackers. Most of our team are special attackers. Uh, I guess I'll give it to Franklin even though I don't really want to. I'll get rid of Protect, I guess. I really don't want to give it to Franklin, but I guess I'm going to have to. I guess I'm going to have to. I mean, we still got Bite, we still got Surf, and Morning Sun. I didn't really use uh, Protect that much anyway, so I guess it's fine. I guess it's okay. Alright, now I have no idea where I was supposed to go. None whatsoever. So you guys are going to have to bear with me here, because all I know is I'm supposed to find... I, I think I'm supposed to find Sutopolis City, if I remember correctly. Either that I'm supposed to find that big seafloor cavern, one or the other, and I'm not too sure which it is or which the order I'm supposed to do them is. So you guys are going to have to bear with me. We already got an encounter here, so this does not count. It's another spinner rack. It's another spinner rack. We have caught and run into so many spinner racks in the last couple of episodes, it's not even funny. It is not even funny. I'm trying to avoid you, and we did it. Nice and sneaky, let's go. We're at level 26, we can get an encounter here, ladies and gents. What is it going to be? There's Sutopolis, I'm pretty sure, because the white rocks are what lead you to Sutopolis. First encounter is going to be, I forgot to close my eyes, it's a core fish, cool. It is a core fish, cool. I'm going to throw an ultra ball at you, and hopefully we can catch you, because honestly I don't feel like wasting a lot of balls on you, because we've got other water types in the PC that are probably better than you, honestly. But your special attack set's kind of garbage, if I'm being honest. And that was nice and easy. Let's go, Corefish. Thanks for joining up, buddy. Welcome to the team, buddy. Welcome to the PC where you will rest for eternity. Corefish catches prey with its sharp claws. It has no likes or dislikes when it comes to food. It will eat anything. Sounds like my ex-girlfriend. Ha! Got him! Just kidding. That was mean. This Pokemon has no trouble living in filthy water. Um, what do I want to name a Corefish? A female Corefish. Uh, 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 da, da, da. Just because of the core. Coraline. Yeah, we'll go with that. It turns into a dark type too, and Coraline's a dark movie. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, nailed it. That <laughs> was such a dumb nickname. Let's see what we missed out on. A Meditite? Okay, I'm fine with that. <coughs> as cool as Meditite and Metacham are, I'd rather not use one. Because their stats kind of contradict each other, and same thing with their stab types. So. I mean, I guess I'll take the core fish. At least both of its types are special. So we can get an underwater encounter, actually, as well, you guys. So let's go ahead and do that nice and quickly. First encounter underwater is going to be... Hold on, this is an item. We just got an energy root. Okay, that's a free... I think that uh, restores 200 HP, if I remember correctly. So that's not bad. I'll take that. I'd like to get an underwater encounter, if it was all possible. I always hated it, because I, I felt like whenever I played this as a kid, I either could never find anything underwater... Or could never not find anything underwater. Like, there was no in between. It was never just, like, a good medium range of encounters. It was either you find nothing, or there's a Pokemon every, like, two steps. And I don't know why that was. Come on, where's the encounters, dude? I just want an encounter. Let me encounter something here. I want something. I would like to catch a Pokemon. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Alright, I guess we're not catching anything. Well, screw that then. I wonder if there's encounters down here. Alright, there's more grass down here. Maybe we can get an encounter right over here instead. Oh, another item. Cool. A magnet. And my bag is full. I kind of want that just in case we end up putting an electric type on our team. Um... Do I need any of this stuff? I don't need the smoke ball. I'll toss it. I'll take this magnet. Oh, it didn't mean to open up my bag again. Whoops! Light is fl no, I don't want to dive back up. I want an encounter and I want this magnet. I want an encounter and I want this magnet. Pretty sure Topless is right over here, if I remember correctly. It should be somewhere around here, because I saw the white... Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Okay, cool. So we found Sutopolis, at least. So that's good. So now we won't have to worry about flying or uh, not having to fly back here. So that's uh, that's very convenient. Very, very convenient, indeed. Sutopolis City. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm pretty sure the Pokemon Center is over here. This is where our 8th Gym Badge also awaits us, you guys. We're not going to be doing that today, though. Probably not for another couple episodes, because there's actually a lot that goes on still 
in the story. But I'm going to go ahead and heal up at the Pokemon Center just so we can fly back here. Just so that that's taken care of. So then after we complete those set events, we can just head right back here. Make our lives so much easier. So, so much easier. Alright, let's go ahead and head back underwater to see if we can find something to catch. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. That would be much appreciated. Woo! I don't know what that woo was. I have no idea what that was. Alright, I'm trying to think of what I want to do for question of the day. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Okay, um, just because it popped into my head randomly. What is your guys' favorite pseudo-legendary Pokemon? If you guys don't know what a pseudo-legendary is, it's a Pokemon that has, that's not a legendary, that has the base stats hold like a legendary. So Pokemon like, um, hold on, I have to remember all of them. Dragonite, Tyranitar, uh, Metagross, Salamence, Garchomp, Hydreigon. Oh, first encounter underwater is going to be, survey says, a Kabuto. Oh, we have one already. Okay. So that's not our first encounter underwater. So, anyway, back to my question of the day. Hydreigon, uh, what was Gen 6? Is Gudra or Como? -O. So let me know what your guys' favorite of those is in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite pseudo is. Let me know what your favorite pseudo is. I would love to know. For me, I'd probably... I don't know. I kind of have a soft spot for Como, -O, honestly. I feel like the thing is so underrated and underused, but it's such a cool Pokemon, especially after I got the new Z-move, Klanger of Soul Blaze. I feel like it's so cool. Like, I, I love that Pokemon. Its design is amazing. Dragon fighting is an awesome typing. First encounter underwater is going to be... Is that another Kabuto? Dude, <laughs> come on! I don't want you! I want an actual encounter. I want an actual encounter, one that we have not encountered before. Kabuto, you're a cool encounter and all, but we have one of you, man. Alright, let's see if this one's gonna be a Kabuto as well. I'm not closing my eyes. Okay, it's not a Kabuto. It's worse than a Kabuto. It's a Volbeat. That's our luck right there. We'll bite you. This shouldn't KO you in any means. Alright, cool. And you flinch, which is nice. Very, very nice for us. Bite one more time, flinch again. Let's go, Bertha! Big Bad Bertha is here to make you flinch. You flinch even just hearing the name Big Bad Bertha. That's kind of a little bit of a tongue twister. Not really, honestly, but oh well. Stay in the Ultra Ball, Volbeat. Stay in the Ultra Ball. Let's go! We got it! We got it! Let's go. Alright, I have no idea what to nickname you. Volbeat's tail goes like a light bulb. With other Volbeat, it uses its tail to draw geometric shapes in the night sky. This Pokemon loves the sweet aroma given off by Illumise. Okay. I'm going to name you Edison because it says light bulb and you're a male. So we're going to go ahead and name you after the inventor of the light bulb, Thomas Edison. There we go. There we go. Alright, now we can get out of here. Now we can get out of here and go find the seafloor cavern. Now we can do that, which is very, very interesting. Not really. Not really at all. But anyway, back to my question of the day. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Uh, I don't want encounters. Corefish, no. I'm speeding up a little bit, guys. I'm sorry. I just want to get out of the battle. I'm going to pop out Super Repel because currently we can't get any new encounters. Where are my Super Repels at? Probably pa Nope, there they are. Okay, I was about to say I probably passed right by them. So yeah, I kind of have a soft spot for Como, -O, honestly. I also really love, um... How do I get out of here, dude? Do I have to dive back out? Is that it? Ah, trainer. Do I have to dive out of here? Or what, what is it? What do I have to do? Tell me what I have to do! Alright, I need to look at the Pokenav because I'm very confused at the moment. This always gave me a difficulty, like, as a kid, too. Okay, so I need to go east of here. I need to go east of here. That is what I need to do. I need to head east of here. Alright, so I think we're back on track. Alright, this is a new area. So now we're back on track, you guys. Now we're fine. Repels effect, we're off. We can get a new encounter right here. And it is going to be first encounter. Survey says my eyes are shut. I know that cry. Is that a Venusaur? Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. This should not KO you. If it didn't KO a, Gol uh, a Volby, it should not KO you. Poison powder? I'm a poison type, dude. I'm a poison type. I'm throwing an Ultra Ball at you. Oh, I love Venusaur. That's one of my favorite starter Pokemon. Let's go. Stay in this Ultra Ball, buddy. Stay in this Ultra Ball. Make this easy on me. All right. You're not going to make this easy on me. That's what I figured. Sleep powder? All right, fine. Put me to sleep. Let, let Big Bad Bertha go to bed, man. That's fine. She don't care. She don't care. She needs her beauty sleep. She needs to get that nice and beauty rest, man. You're just going to do me a favor and stay in this Ultra Ball, though. So it's fine. It is fine by me, dude. One, two, three. Let's go. We got the Venusaur. I'm so hyped. I love this Pokemon so much. Oh my god. Bulbasaur was the first ever Pokemon I picked. So it has a, kind of a soft spot for me. There's a large flower on Venusaur's back. The flower is said to take on vivid colors if it gets plenty of nutrition and sunlight. 
A flower's aroma soothes the emotions of people. Aw, very cool. You're a male, so I always name my Venusaur the same thing. Because in the Pokedex, Bulbasaur is the first Pokemon, I always name it Alpha. I always name it Alpha. So we got Alpha the Venusaur chilling the party now. Not the party, the PC now, which is nice in case anything ever happens to one of our Pokemon. It is probably going to be added along with Kyogre. It is most likely going to be added along with Kyogre. Because honestly, Kyogre, Venusaur, and Groudon on the same team, dude. What's stopping me? What is going to stop me? Oh, apparently this trainer is going to stop me in my tracks. I can see it in your face. You want to challenge me. Ha <laughs> ha. Not really. I kind of want just to, uh, you know, get more encounters and head to the C4 Cavern where I can go, you know, stop the evil organization trying to take over the world with a uh, with an evil Pokemon, you know? That's what I was trying to do, but... I mean... Wait. Was I supposed to go to the Cave of Origin first or go to C4 Cavern first? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. Quick attack me all you want. It's gonna do five. That actually did quite a bit because he crit me. It actually did quite a bit because he crit me. Okay. He withdraws the Typhlosion and goes out into what? The Pupitar. I see you, big dog. Okay, you resist You resist my moves now. That still did about a third of your HP, though. Let's go out into... Let's go into Dump Truck. Let's let Dump Truck get a little love. Let's let Dump Truck get a little bit of love going on. What are you going for? Rock Slide? This is going to do four. Do four. It did seven. Close enough. Close enough for me. This Metal Claw is just going to destroy you. It should just destroy you. So yeah, back to my question of the day. Once again, I have a very, very soft spot for Como. Oh, I, I love that Pokemon very much. I love its design. I love its typing. I love all the moves it gets. It's such an interesting, interesting Pokemon. But secondly, I'd probably either say Gudra or Salamence, just because uh, I, I'm also a big sucker for Dragon types as well. And Salamence's design is probably the best out of all of the pseudos, personally, in my opinion, because he looks amazing. Like, he just looks incredible, especially like Mega Salamence looks so dope. It looks like it's like remaining through the air. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I love it. Uh, and then Gudra, Gudra's just the gooey boy. Like, how do you not love him? Like, look at his, look, pull up a picture of Gudra right now on Google. Look at his little face and tell me that you don't love him. Tell me you don't love him. You gotta love Gudra. So those are my favorite pseudo-legendary Pokemon. So let me know what your guys is in the comment section below are as we drown this Magmi into the abyss of the ocean. Yeah. Let's go, Franklin. Way to drown that little child. Jinx. Um, we'll back out into, into uh, Dump Truck because since you're an Ice type, we can Metal Claw your face in. Your, your gross, disgusting, Nicki Minaj looking at face. I don't know what that was. Oh, mean look me? Fine. You're gonna go ahead. Look at me mean, Nikki. Look at me mean, girl. Look at me mean. Super Base was your only good song. Super Base is your only good song. Fight me on that. I'm probably gonna get so much hate comments for that. I don't like Nicki Minaj. I'm sorry. Nikki, I'm sorry if you watch this video for some reason. I'm sorry. You, you got some good music, but not it's not for me. It's not for me. It's not for me, Nikki. I'm sorry. Alright, word. Okay, new encounter again. So sick. Alright, what's our first encounter route 128 going to be? Survey says. Pretty sure this is where I have to go, actually. Alright, survey says. Ooh, okay. I forgot to close my eyes. Whoops. But I'll take that. I will take that. Uh, let's just throw an Ultra Bull at you. You should just stay in this. You're only level 9. Your catch rate's not that low, right? One, two, Three. Let's go. Okay. I'll take that. I love Cloyster. Shout out to my buddy uh, John for this. Hold on. I'll show you. I'll tell you guys in a second. Cloyster is capable of swimming. Cloyster is capable of swimming in the sea. Okay. It does so by swallowing water, then jetting it out toward the rear. Ew. The Pokemon shoots spikes from its shell using the same system. Double ew. Interesting. Okay. So if you guys don't know or don't follow the Pokemon All Star League that much, uh, my buddy John, aka uh, the real Skeletor. Or is it true Skeletor? Something like that. Something Skeletor uh, has a team known as the Cape Coral Cloisters. So after my buddy, my best friend in the entire world, I'm going to go ahead and name this thing Cape Coral. Let's go. I think I actually played John next week too in, in said tournament league. So you guys have that to look forward to as well. But this week I actually play, uh, ooh, Chansey. Chansey! Chansey! I love doing Chansey's uh, cry. It's so much fun. It's It, it gets the vocal pipes moving, you know? I'm pretty sure I have to go here, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I play John next week, but this week, spoilers, you guys, I actually end up playing the one, the only Aqua Admin Steve. The one, the only Aqua Admin Steve, my boy, uh, in the Pokemon All-Star League. So that's probably going to be either be match of the week, or one of us is just going to destroy the other. There's going to be no in between. Submarine Explorer 1 is painted on the hole. This is a submarine that Team Aqua stole in Slayport. Team Aqua must have gone ashore here. Really? I never would have guessed that. Franklin, use dive. Alright, Seafloor Cavern, here we are. 
And we can get an encounter in here as well, you guys. So let's see what that encounter is going to be. Survey says... Oh, do I need Rock Smash and Strength? This is why I... D Ugh, fine. Fine. I'm annoyed. Alright, Strength. Who are we giving Strength to? I mean, it could be good on... Hold on. I'm gonna check Hyper Fang's power. What's the power of Hyper Fang? Because if it's better... If Strength is better than it and less... Like, better... Accuracy is... Oh, yeah. Let's just give Wrigley Strength. It's Choice Band and Stab. Yeah, let's just do that. 100% we're doing that because it's basically the exact same power as Hyper Fang. And we don't have a chance to miss anymore, which is fantastic because during grinding, Wrigley missed like 3 million Hyper Fangs. So I'm not going to take any more chances with that. I'm not taking any more chances with missing a Hyper Fang because you never know when you're going to need to hit a Hyper Fang, guys. You never know when you're going to need to hit a Hyper Fang. So we can break these rocks thanks to Dump Truck and we can move these around thanks to Wrigley. Let's go. That makes our life much easier thanks to the fact that he can learn strength. Much easier. Alright, Team Aqua is here. I want an encounter though is what I really want though. Give me an encounter. Give me an encounter. I want one. Okay, first encounter in the Seafloor Cavern is going to be... A Shuppet. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and bite you. They shouldn't KO you. I said shouldn't, but it did. But it did. I guess I shouldn't have risked that because uh, Shuppet's kind of frail. So, live and learn. Live and learn. Live and learn. Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Live and learn. I don't remember the West. I almost just said I don't remember the West. I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. Level 40? What is with Team Aqua? When did they get so powerful all of a sudden? Let's go, Bertha. Take this thing on. Get your power turned into Shadow Ball. Ooh, that's going to hurt a little bit because that's physical. Okay, hopefully this one-shots you, please. Poor favor. Poor favor, please. Thank you. Thank you, Big Bad Bertha. That's my girl. Big Bad Bertha is taking names. A lot of EXP, too. Nice. Uh, Jirachi. Okay. Uh, Tectonic, get out here. Tectonic, get out here. Because this thing kind of scares me a little bit, honestly. This thing scares me quite a little bit. Jirachi is nothing to be slept on. If you guys have never battled a Jirachi, like, in competitive or anything like that, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. I would not say on my top five favorite things to do that it is on there. I would not say it at all. Not one little bit. Not even one little bit. Please just one shot. Cool. Alright, that was nice and easy. That was actually pretty easy thanks to Tectonic and Bertha. Still, level 40 is though? I'm worried about what um what Archie's gonna have then. I'm worried about like what levels he's gonna have. Because this could be a bit of a problem for us, honestly. This could be a little bit of a problem for us. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of the strength puzzle. If I remember how to do it, I honestly don't know. I'm pretty sure I have to do this. If I recall correctly. I think this is what I'm supposed to do? I honestly have no idea because it's been such a long... Oh, well, I, I'm not going that way. I'm not going that way. We got a Barboach. Although I would have rather had a Shuppet. Plus, this is dupes anyway because we also have a Whiskash in our party. Or not in our party, in the PC. I'm pretty sure that my water heater or the boiler or whatever it's called is going off right now and I hope you guys can't hear it because it's really annoying in my ears so I'm assuming it's probably going to be really annoying in your guys' too. Okay, so that's the way there. Alright, so I have to reactivate strength and all that. How do I... What is in there? Because I know that's the, the way on the left is the way it's supposed to go but I want to know what the way on the right is because it seems like... It seems like a secret. Because it... They... Really? This stupid boiler is still going off, and it's really bothering me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you guys hear this in the background. I apologize dearly. I might have to turn up the uh, game audio honestly because this is bugging the heck out of me, and I know the microphone's gonna pick it up. I just know it. Okay, so maybe this isn't the way I'm supposed to go. Maybe this isn't the way I'm supposed to go. Is it? I have no idea honestly. I have no idea where I'm going here. Let's go this way. Sure, why not? Let's go. Yeah. Sure. Uh, that way. Oh, that was just a complete circle. Oh wait, no, it wasn't. There we go. We did it. We did it. Where did it take me? Oh, more more rocks. More rocks. More and more rocks. Well, that's unfortunate. We won't get off my screen. Well, because this boiler is bothering the heck out of me before it drags on for too long, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode right here, you guys. Uh, right in front of this big array of rocks. If you guys enjoyed this episode, do me a favor and leave a like by clicking that thumb down below and leaving a like down that thumbs up button. It lets me know that you enjoyed. I just said that like four times, so it's probably redundant at this point. But yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. It helps me out a ton. 
Also, make sure you leave a comment answering our question of the day. Once again, this was your favorite pseudo legendary Pokemon. As I said, for me, it's either Como, O, Gudra, or Salamence. Let me know what you guys did in the comment section down below. While you're down there, also make sure you guys subscribe down below. That way, you stay notified about when I upload and see all my content as well. Follow me on social media links to that are in the description below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kyler underscore Ren96. Follow me on Twitch.tv slash KaiGuySlider as well, where I'll hopefully begin streaming very, very soon. Also, make sure you guys share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones. Share the love, you guys. That way, all of your friends can experience this. If you know a Pokemon fan, you should let them see this video. Hey, you never know. Maybe they'll enjoy it. And I hope that they do. Right now, there should be a couple of boxes up here on your guys' screens. The one off to your guys' right-hand side is a video that YouTube has picked just for you because they care about you. Off to the left-hand side, you guys, you guys can check out my most recent upload. And you can click on the center button, which is ugly mug right here. It's my face. You can click on that subscribe as well. Once again, I've been Kai Guys. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you guys have a very good day. Goodbye.